Science fair is an opportunity for students to share their work, share their passions, and then share what they understand about the sciences that they're involved in. Um, I first became involved with science fair when I began teaching. I honestly did not know about it when I was in high school. I wish I did, because I would have won. <laughs> but uh, I learned about science fair when I, was in high, when I started teaching. Nine students going to the International Science and Engineering Fair shocked even me. I didn't realize that the kids were going to do that well that year. But I really truly believe it's because we have um, really kind of understood the process. We work really hard at presentations. We work really hard about understanding our science and what our science means to society and the public. So I think all of those things culminate in us becoming very successful at Science Fair. I am a very strict mentor. I love my kids. They know I love them, but I also expect them to be excellent. I do not allow them to um, waver. If they say they want to do it, then they have to do it, and they have to do it well. Most of my students in the research program are immigrants. They come to this country because their parents know that there are opportunities here they may not receive in their own countries. It kind of makes them feel like they owe their parents something, and I think that drives them to become more successful because they know their parents have sacrificed for them to come to this country, and they have to pay it forward or pay it back to make sure that their children and their parents um, receive the benefits of the efforts that they put in. So I think that my students are extremely motivated because they know how much sacrifice was provided for them to become successful. I think that any student who wants to do well at Science Fair can. It's, it's not only for a certain group. It's not only for the wealthy. It's not only for those kids who have mentors, as you'll see in the film. If you have a passion to do something, anything is possible. So go about achieving your goals. And um, I hope that middle school students, you have to know the fundamentals of science. But whatever you don't learn in the classroom, you can learn on your own if you have the basic skills. So anybody can succeed. I am a proud mom. The kids call me the research mom. And I feel proud because I give them basic tools. And if they don't choose to use those tools and go further, they won't be successful. But they do. They take the learning in the classroom and they translate it to successful outcomes every year. And it baffles me how well we've continued to do it. But I, I really truly think that my students see how passionate I am and they are able to share their passions with me and thereby share them with the world. Um, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I think a lot of the life skills from being in the research program um, are you're going to meet obstacles. And you, you have to know how to talk to people. That's one thing I think my students learn, um, that the mentor almost becomes a peer. And I think that in high school, the students are, are not used to looking at adults as an equal. But you have to, because now you're in their arena working like them. So you have to now approach situations like an adult, even though you're 15, 16, 17 years old. So I think the research helps them with that. I think that it shows them that they may come up with ideas that we may not come up with ideas. You know, uh, I think sometimes as a scientist, we kind of think we know the answer. But when these students come in, they're an open page, you know, and they come up with these ideas. And I'm like, where did that come from? But they're really good. And they force us to look at our understandings differently. So that's pretty amazing, too. I've learned a lot from my students. As much as they have learned from me, I've learned an equal amount from them. So I opened up the iResearch Institute because as I followed my students to different competitions, I see that not every student has a mentor like me. And we can go to competitions, and their work is phenomenal. The science that they've done is phenomenal. But 
they don't have enough guidance, so they may not present it well, they may not um, understand that they have to kind of study this science a little bit more, this portion of the science a little bit more. They don't sell a given portion of their work which would really get the, the world to understand why they're doing what they're doing. So I would basically help kids, random kids at competitions, and my kids are like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, and I would be like, you know, this project is so good. I want you and the world to see how good this is, even if we're at this competition. And these kids can go back and fix it. And as I continued to do that at competitions, it was actually my students that said to me, you need to open up a camp or something. And my students helped me create the website and build it. And my goal now is to help people who are underrepresented or maybe even underprivileged have the same opportunities as my students that I have all the time. So the goal of the Institute is to basically do what I do at Jericho High School, but for the masses. I, I love when my students who have graduated from some of the best universities in the country email me and say, if it wasn't for your class, I would have never gotten an A in my, you know, neuroscience writing class. Or I, I just was published in this art, in this paper or this journal. And thank you so much, Dr. M, for teaching me how to write and teaching me how to write an abstract and, and to explain myself as a scientist. So I think that my students, even in business, they're using it. They, they can present to their colleagues and they're flourishing because of the skills that they learned when they were in 10th grade in science research. So I think it's carrying for generations. Hopefully they'll teach their kids. I'd like to add that this is a phenomenal film. Everyone should come out and see it. I think that it will shape um, science learning and education in the future. I also think that you will see a bigger scope of what science nerds really look like. They're actually just regular people who just have a passion about science. I hope that everyone sees how important it is to support kids in science. I hope that educators realize that our classrooms are important, but it's bigger than that. That, other, that if we just allow the kids to explore their interest, that you will also have the opportunity to share your science and your teaching and prepare them for testing without just being so narrow in our scope of learning.